Today marked 61 years since Axe Handle Saturday. On this day, back in 1960, more than 200 white men chased black demonstrators through downtown Jacksonville. They were armed, holding baseball bats and axe handles. It was a violent attack that left many of those people bloodied, those teenagers that were holding sit-ins in downtown. Now, the Youth Council, NAACP, they started the sit-ins earlier that August at six different stores downtown. Rodney Hurst was the president of the group at the time. He was only 16 years old, just a young man. We called it a healthy fear. And the healthy fear was we knew what the possibilities were. But at the same time, we were still determined, as Mr. Pearson said, to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. As we came out of, out of grants, and when it began to focus on you that these were men with weapons and they were using those weapons. Also, keep in mind, the group involved in the sit-ins, not the only people who were attacked. This image has forever been documented and documents that. That's Charlie Griffin, bloodied and bruised. He was downtown just shopping at the time of the riot. Griffin died in 2002, and we talked with his last surviving brother last year. He said that day is still etched in his memory. White people were that time beating up the black people, you know? So I'm working. I can't get over it, but I knew my brother was down there. That's when I found my brother Charlie. Charlie was in there with his head all bandaged up with eight stitches in his head. And he says his brother never talked about what happened to him that day. You can watch our full award-winning coverage. We did a lot last year on the 60th anniversary on Axe Handle Saturday. Many of those stories still lie on newsforjax.com. Definitely a discussion to have, you know, with your families, even your children, so they understand history.